Have you bought in the stocks and instead of it going up, 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 it went down, down, down? Well, if this is something that you encounter, then you want to take a look at this video because I'm going to show you how to use this one wash line so that it can prevent such things from happening. I'll be illustrating with Hang Seng Index because I find that right now it's at a very interesting point and hope that whatever that I'm going to talk about will help you if you're interested to invest or trade into the Hang Seng Index. If you can, hit the like and the subscribe button because as my grandma said, 钱 pa han, money are free of coal. Right now, my subscribe and the like button also are free of coal. Earlier in this video, I asked whether Hang Seng was in a bad shape. Well, the reason for asking that was because price was near to the equidistance channel low and as well as the grey support zone, historical level. But there wasn't any trigger for any bullishness, right? Because there wasn't any wash and winds. Okay? Now, if you can draw in just wash line, that would really help you to identify whether there's any you know, valid trigger. As I said, right, no trigger, no trade. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to look for candles which are near to the equidistance channel or the historical level, right? So these are the two candles here. I'm just going to map it into one and zero. And the next question you need to ask is whether one had a close below the low of zero. Okay, obviously, there isn't, so we can't draw any wash line. How about two versus one? Is there a close of two below one? The lower one, uh, yes, okay, we can draw in the wash line here and the wash line is about 18,500. How about 3 and 2? The answer is no because 3 did not close below 2 even though the candles is green, right, but the closing price wasn't below the low of 2, right. Then we just moved on, 4 obviously didn't and how about 4 and 5, right, did 5 close below the low of 4? The answer is yes, right. We are able to draw in the wash line and the wash line is about 17,948. Now what this means is that perhaps there are some people who shorted as price closed below the low of 4 and they are still maintaining the short, right? They are still bearish about it. But perhaps that there's some form of support or whatever, I don't know. Later we can check that out. But if price didn't close below the wash line and instead, right, it moved above the wash line. So this means that whoever who shorted around this region here, shorted means that they sell, right, then they will regret because they probably shorted at the average price of let's say below 17,900 but if price can close above the wash line it means that price would be higher than where they shorted the price that they shorted now then this is not good now we treat this as a bullish wash and winds. That means that we will take a bullish stand when price trades above 17,948 essentially that's about 18,000 Okay, now the second reason why I'm interested in Hang Seng is because of this equidistance channel here. Now previously we've drawn this up sloping equidistance channel, but right now with the changes in price and how price move, we are able to draw in this down sloping equidistance channel and when you park it to the middle here, you find that right now, right, it is near to the low of the equidistance channel, meaning that probably might be that price might have found a support. If this is so, what we need to do is we need to have a trigger. The trigger would be based on wash and winds and that's above the wash line that's have drawn. But generally, if you take a look at the movement, the trend is still down, meaning that the trend is not up yet, right? So it could be just a technical movement. So technical short-term movement, you might want to explore into short-term instruments, like for example, warrants. Let me just quickly zoom into the warren section 30 seconds to explain that and perhaps this would be something that's useful to you. I'm right now at this page here, which is warrants.com.sg. First, I will go to Warren Selector page and choose the instrument that I want to trade and choose the direction. If it's green and you have the blue phase, that's a call, meaning that you're looking for price to move up in the future. So I'll be choosing a call warrants. Once I choose that, it will display all the different call warrants and I want to look for those that's with fire because this will be the trending warrants. I'm just going to do a bit of a projected returns, a bit of a simulation. And if I think that price would reach to, let's say, 18,500 in two weeks time, let's say, let's do that, right, then how much would be the estimated returns of the warrants? For example, if the current price of this trending warrants is about 6.6 .6 cents here, right, then if today is to move up to 18,500, then this warrant would gain about 51%. If one week would gain about 39%, and in, let's say, two weeks here, that would be about 27%. So you are really looking at some short-term instruments with some technical movement here if you are looking at 
at Warren's. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like?